Well, there it is. Yes. Now to get inside. And this, my dear, is Gustav. One of my bravest knights. And a great ladies' man, too, eh, Charles? <laughs> Oh, Dennis, another flagon. <coughs> Come with me. Gentlemen, I give you a toast to the Lady Irina, soon to be mistress of this domain. Ah. And soon to be first lady of the Shire. <laughs> I must admit it, my dear Irina, with each passing day, I come nearer to being the most influential man in the country. <laughs> and each passing night as well. Night? We try to improve ourselves day up and night. I do love hunting. When shall we go? Very soon, my dear. Tomorrow, then. You'll have to be just a little bit patient. But you promised me the best hunting preserve in Nottingham. A promise which I shall keep. Believe me, Lady Arena, this preserve is the best hunting in England. Red deer swarm through the forest like flies. Then I don't understand why... The title to the preserve has not quite so uh, passed into my hands as yet. You mean it is being bequeathed to you? In a manner of speaking, my dear, just... There must be better minstrels than these in Nottinghamshire. Particularly for our betrothed. Come here. You have offended my lady's ear. I'm sorry, but my accomplice has bitten his tongue on a ham bone this morning. It's hard to judge notes with a sore tongue. You must forgive us, good lord and lady. Say up a tune by yourself. One more false note. One further offense to my lady's ear. And I'll bleed you. There once was an outlaw who lived in the wood. So wicked and bold and despised by the good. Some say that he plundered, spreading sorrow and pain. But no one could say what he hoped to gain. Pray, who was this fellow who all justice withstood? Just hearken, dear lady, to the name Robin Hood. An interesting choice of ballad, minstrel. But I'm not sure that it pleases me. I, on the contrary, found it so amusing. He has not a bad voice for a peasant. You do me great honor, my lady. I'm sorry if my little tune displeased you, my lord. Usually songs about Robin Hood are very well received, especially now that his name is on everyone's lips. And why, pray, have the deeds of a common outlaw suddenly become so interesting? Because, my lady, they say it is he who has put the torch to two nearby manor houses. What do you mean, they say? You speak as if there were room for doubt about this Robin Hood's guilt. Not my place either to doubt or believe, my lord. I'm simply a minstrel. I do no more than repeat what I hear. He speaks well. Yes. Too well, I should say, to be simply a minstrel. I have a feeling I've seen him somewhere before. Not like him, my lord. We're new to the Shire. Yes, you're mistaken. You haven't seen us before. <laughs> You've just taken too much of that wine. Well, I'll cheat you to the insolent to me. Oh, good sir, what? He's just a clumsy oaf. There's, there's, there's no point in trying to hurt him. Hurt him? I'll tell him. Oh, now, sir, you're, you're far too gracious a nobleman. Out of my way, I'll run you both through with one lunge, like me on a skewer. Here's a lot of courage, uh, Mr. I'll show you how much courage he has. Oh, I'll Hold tell on, him. Now. We shall see whether minstrels have music in their blood or just water. The 
But my lord, I, I have no skill or heart to fight you. Then I shall have to teach you a lesson. For a minstrel, you fight well. Too well. Beginner's luck, I do assure you, my lord. Now I have it, Henry. The fellow I told you of. The one I met in Sherwood. Sherwood, eh? No, hold. Let them go. Give them a few seconds to escape, and then follow. But do not capture them, or harm them. Why did you let them get away? My dear Irina, I'm a kindly man. But who are they? The dark one was the outlaw, Robin Hood. The other was one of his men. Have some more wine. Thank <laughs> you. 